How's it going? Today I'll be showing you how to use the loop keyword in Rust. So loop allows you to execute a bunch of code infinitely until you specify when to stop it. So as an example, we'll be printing out numbers from 1 to 10 to see how it works. So to start off, we'll define a new integer called n with a value of 0 to start off with. Next, we can type out the loop keyword and two curly braces. Now this means everything inside here, you want to loop and you know, uh, just reiterate until you specify when to stop it. The first thing we'll do inside the loop is increment n. So we can say n plus equals 1. So add 1 to n at the beginning of every loop. Next, we'll print out the value of n. So we'll say the value, hold on, there we are, the value of n is and pass in n. Alright, let's try and run this and see what we get. Go in here, we'll run this and we continuously get numbers printing out. I have to press Control c for it to stop. That's because we didn't specify when to stop it. We can do this using an if statement. What we'll say is up here, if n is uh, greater than 10, then break. This just says if the value of n is more than 10, then break, and break means to exit the loop and basically go down here. So break will stop this loop. Let's try it again. And there we are, 1 to 10. You can also use the continue statement. So just say we want to skip the number 7 as an example. Up here, we can type in if n is equal to 7, then continue. So continue means to skip this iteration. So everything from here onwards won't be executed. It'll simply go back up to the top and continue. We'll try to run this one and we see there's no 7. So 7 was essentially just skipped. It's cancelled everything else and it's gone back up here. And that's all you need to know about the loop keyword in Rust. Thank you for watching. See you later.